Hello there and welcome to Full Stack Devlogs. Before we begin our learning together, please motivate me and push me to do more by subscribing to this channel. Also, do press the bell icon in order to receive all the updates whenever this channel has a new video. If you're already a subscriber and are in this learning journey along with me, thank you for doing that. Today we will see very quickly that how we can play with github api this playing with github api is just a means to learn something different actually we are trying to learn how we can make our flow agnostic of its configurations and details let's see this in action then we will understand more let's say we want to access the github docs or the github rest api let's try to access this github.com slash zen which gives some random selection response let's try doing this let's have an inject node let's take a http request node for making a http call and to see the output let's take the debug node Connect these together. Copy this URL. Paste it inside your HTTP request. Let's deploy and see running it. Approachable is better than simple. What a nice quote to begin this video together, friends. It says approachable is bigger than better than simple. This is really something we all believe in, isn't it? And now let's try to break it further and see more examples. Like for example, let's copy this and replicate this flow. Let's name this one Zen message. Let's try some other like here we are getting a particular user's github profile so let's try to get my profile so if you see my github profile this is the one and you see the github username as Gaurav Das Gupta so let's try to get this by using slash user slash username as we see here in this get call let's name this get user profile slash user slash Let's reply. Here we get a message which says, mind your words, they are important. And this is getting me the profile, the complete profile details for my account. When these things get complex, the problem will arise that at a point you will have too many URLs, details, and these URLs can differ from system to system when you are working on a place like a Kubernetes cluster or some different servers say you have to give this flow to your client after developing and the client can have different url on different environments how will you maintain such things let's try to understand that by using a simple example achieving this let's understand a concept which you would have learned by now or if not then also not a problem which is flow context so we have three types of context in node red First of all, we will save this with a, we will, we will give it a better name. Let's say GitHub API. Deploy with this name. Take a new tab and let's call it environment variables for now. Inside this, what we do is we take an inject node. Along with this, we take a function node. Now for the sake of simplicity, what we will do is that inside this function, first of all, let's name this function node something. Let's say set environment variables. And here, what we will do is we will take the global context 
and set the key will be named environment variables and let's give the same thing in the value now this is undefined let's define this value so let's do make it a constant and take a javascript map here set variables to the map so we will say environment variables dot set so what we really want to do is that we want to take this common url which can be different in different environments and we want to take it as an environment variable here so let's set it uh, set the value first which is api.github.com and let's call it something like github url now we can set it to the environment or the flow context on the flow global context but we would also like to confirm it first so let's drop a function node in between let's call it confirm variables and inside this let's try to get this environment variable here so we have set in the global context so let's try to get it first let's see how we can get something from a global context so we will say global dot get this time remove the value pass the key get into a variable let's call it environment variables now remember this is actually giving me a map so ultimately i need to fetch the value for the github url so which is the key is github underscore url so i will say environment variables dot get and the url key let's call it by this name github url is equal to we have assigned it to this and now remember that we have to just check it so in order to check we will just pass it into the payload we are doing it for debugging purpose let's try to test it again and we see that we are getting api.github.com from the global context environment variables and when we are getting the github url from it we are getting api.github.com which means it is available in the global context so here we need to replace this so first of all in order to replace we need to get it from the global variable as a function so let's take the help of function node again and let's call it something meaningful get environment variable and how are we getting it we are getting it using the environment variable so we just can we can just copy it like this like this here simply move it to this now remember this github url is available to us from the global context but now we need to set it to the message property which can be accessed by the http node so we will say message dot github url is equal to github url we will set it like this we will place it in the middle and now we will get rid of two timestamps and try to get the same url for both 
and replace this using this property name replace this variable value url value using the property name with three curly braces and then enclosing curly braces same for the get user profile node now let's test them in action variables are already available in the global context let's try to see yes design for failure is something we are getting from the zen message and this is the profile information we are getting from the user profile and we see that we are passing the github url from the global context variable so this is how we can clean up our flows and make way for designing simpler yet complex yet portable and scalable flows i hope you loved it and uh, do ensure to subscribe this channel connect with me ping me on linkedin ping me on facebook reach out to me via gmail i would love to talk to you thank you so much for giving your time